All right, everybody, welcome back for another one. And I wanted to start this video off with probably the most significant news I've seen over the past few days. But news that always gets overlooked, right? Because the only thing people really care about is the Bitcoin chart, apparently, right now. So everyone's just watching that chart. Is the price going to go up? I hope it brings up my altcoins. This and that, well, if you're investing for the long term, this kind of stuff is the most important stuff to pay attention to, right? Because we all know that blockchain is part of the future, a significant role in the future. And what you should be trying to figure out is who's actually going to win, who's actually going to have that long term utility, which networks and blockchains will be used. U.S. Navy commissions $1.5 million blockchain system for tracking critical weaponry. Indiana-based blockchain firm SimbaChain announced Wednesday it was awarded the Small Business Innovation Research Phase 2 contract to build a demand sensing system that would anticipate the need for critical military weaponry parts. The blockchain solution will be built for the Defense Logistics Agency, the Combat Support Agency, and the U.S. Department of Defense. All right, that's about that. Okay, so this is important for a few reasons, right? For one, this is phase two, as they mentioned. This is phase two. They're trying to build a demand sensing system, which is going to be uh, logistics related. Right, and phase one, if you click this right here, is um, takes us to this article, right? So just last year, June of 2020, US Air Force gives blockchain firm another 1.5 million to build supply chain network. So phase one, 1.5 million as well. Simba Chain, a blockchain as a service company with deep ties to the Department of Defense, has two years and 1.5 million to research and develop a blockchain for supply chain logistics for the U.S. Air Force. They added that the firm will add a stand-up node running hyperledric fabric as well. But I just wanted to point this all out to everybody because where is the connections here? Well, for those of you that have been following this channel for a while, you know that Simba is building on Stellar, right? So if you come over to the Stellar website and you find their built on Stellar page and come down to explore the ecosystem and go to service providers, you can see basically all the different service pro providers that are either building on Stellar or offering custody services and so on, which I'm about to get into as well. But anyway, you got Simba right there, right? So. Going to the Simba page, what do they do, right? They said blockchain as a service. So, well, if you come to the solutions, they offer smart contract design, automated data integrity, smart contract as a service, startups as a service, education practice, gaming and blockchain, federal government contract vehicles, and so on, right? So you get it. Simba is plugged in with the U.S. government. They're working with them on their defense-related stuff, and they build on Stellar, right? But another one to note real quick before I get back to that is Anchorage is here. Well, some of you might have seen. Maybe you haven't, right? But Anchorage becomes the first OCC-approved national crypto bank, right? This happened just yesterday. This came out, well, two days ago, actually. Crypto custodian Anchorage has secured conditional approval for a national trust charter from the U.S. Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, making it the first national digital asset bank in the U.S. All right. Well, I find it really important to cover this really quick, obviously, because they're linked on Seller's page. They're mostly just indicating that Anchorage offers custody. Or stellar but it's important to review their portfolio now right i would think so and i honestly don't think that 
it wouldn't be a bad idea to just have exposure to all of these if you don't really know what you're doing, right? Not financial advice, but wouldn't be a bad area to start if you're trying to look for what to invest in. Well, maybe invest in what the custodian offers as the first national crypto bank, right? Just logic there. But anyway, so they have Ave, Arcoin, Aragon, Augur, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, whatever. I'm not going to read all of them. A lot of the most common ones, right? You got Compound in there, Cosmos, I've mentioned. I hold some of those. Ethereum, of course. The Central End. This is actually one that I keep coming back to with interest because I don't know if you've seen it. I've showed you before. Basically like a virtual uh, 3D world, right? That you can own own land on and stuff so i think that will definitely be the future of gaming at least a type of game that people like kind of like um minecraft and stuff so you can build your own virtual world and you can own portions of it and stuff but the crypto is related and used on the platform so off topic one thing i wanted to point out as well all right so you can see tezos in there tezos is another one that i've held i actually sold but i would like to get back um, synthetics I've talked about. USD coin, right? So USD coin we know is moving to Stellar because Stellar is more efficient at actually moving money around the world, right? But they have Zcash, right? So you see the attack kind of on privacy cryptos lately, but it, I, think, I think it's really interesting that they hold Zcash. And as I've told you before, I can't find the document anymore, but I swear in 2018, there was a document from the Federal Reserve talking about how privacy cryptos would be valued in the future because they believe that financial institutions and banks and whatever are not going to want to broadcast every single piece of business they do on a public network. So they were saying how having some privacy features built in, um, a crypto that could do that in the future would have use. And they specifically mentioned Zcash, okay? The ones like Monero and stuff, I don't know, man. I don't see that one making it from a legal standpoint. I think they will have their privacy crypto they allow to survive. And to me, it looks like it's Zcash. But personally speaking, uh, I'm kind of interested in getting some of those as well. So, but I'll look into it. All right, so the federally chartered bank now has USD coin on it, of course. It also has true USD, but, um, you know, so USD, this is Stellar video, basically, right? Well, we know it's moving to Stellar. And I think the writing's on the wall, right, guys? Also very interesting, they don't have Ripple in here. Hmm? Don't have XRP. Maybe something to pay attention to as well. All right, but back to Simba. A couple documents, all you really need to see with Simba in relation to Stellar. So you can come right on their website. They have this two-pager PDF. Simple Stellar with Simba Chain. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but they say, I've showed you this before, Stellar makes sending money to anywhere in the world simple, fast, and cheap. Now, the new Simba API makes it easy for developers to build custom Stellar applications. All right? And they have like a Stellar SDK kit that they allow developers to use and so on. But point being, they build on Stellar and they help people build on Stellar as you know, blockchain as a service, as mentioned. Another thing... Uh, August of 2020, just last year, right? Simba Payment app launches using Stellar Network. Simba Pay is the app, is what it's called. It says Simba has released a payment app designed for use on the Stellar Network. Simba Chain enables seamless utilization and integration of blockchain tech to bolster trust, security, and risk mitigation for enterprise and government use, right? And if you've Follow the link to their website to use this Simba Pay. Go there, right? Simba Pay. Right? Fill out the form to learn how to create a payment app using Simba Chain and the Stellar Network. Right? Point being, Stellar is connected with Simba Chain, very obviously, right? Simba Chain is what was first started on a seed funding round by DARPA. Right? So DARPA was the first funder. Uh, defense agency for the U.S. funding Simba to build a um, cryptographic chat app. So, and now they have the 
contract to build out logistics stuff with them. And they have this Simba pay on Stellar. So I guess the writing is on the wall, right? So kind of a short one here, but I just had to put this out specifically focused on Stellar because people need to really zone in on this. I think it's pretty obvious that Stellar is planned to be part of this new blockchain infrastructure, right? Hope that was informative. As always, please like and subscribe, share with your friends and family, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks. What is a cashless society? What does it actually mean in a literal or high-level sense? Money will become like these, relics of a different age, and will only be found in places like this. In other words, hard cash will disappear. It will become electronic, transferred by things like these. Then Tracy is in Beijing to show us what a nearly cashless society actually looks like. Then, good morning. Mobile payment transactions in China reached a cumulative total of 277.4 trillion RMB in 2018, ranking number one in the world, according to the recently released statistical report on internet development in China. As of June 2019, online payment users in the country reached 633 million. The cashless society is now approaching. When's the last time you paid with cash? Well, chances are cash has taken a back seat to the plastic in your wallet and smartphone pay apps. Denver 7's Ryan Luby explains the digital pay revolution and why not everyone is on board. The cashless society, the cashless society, the cashless society. The cashless society is now approaching. The cashless society.